In this video, I'm gonna show you the best Fiverr tips for when you are just starting out as a freelancer on Fiverr. Because when you're just starting out, it can be tough to know where you should be spending your time to help you get orders faster and make more money as a freelancer. So yeah, that's how I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna spend this video talking about some of those tips to help you speed up the amount of time it'll take to get your first couple orders and things you can do to make sure that when you're getting orders, you're making and maximizing the amount of money you're making on each order. These are tips that have come out of some of the questions I've heard over the last 12 months from a lot of new Fiverr freelancers. I think these are things that sometimes get missed, so I'm hoping that this video helps you add them to your, your arsenal, implement them, and make the most out of your time selling on Fiverr. Okay, so you know Fiverr is awesome. You've heard about it, you've seen all these videos online of people making all this money, changing their lives, it's great, right? So you're excited to get started, create your first gig and start selling on Fiverr. But there's a couple of really important things you need to focus on and you need to do before you dive headfirst into Fiverr to make sure you are being as successful as possible starting out and throughout your career as a Fiverr freelancer. The first absolute most important thing and the thing you should be focusing on first before starting to sell on Fiverr is to do a little bit of a self-reflection to figure out whether you even have a skill that you can sell on Fiverr. The first step in doing this is to do some research to see what types of skills are currently in demand and being sold on the Fiverr platform. If you're seeing things that you're interested in, you already have proficiency in, and you think you're already good enough to start selling and offering value with, you can get started, you can create a gig. But if you don't have any skills yet that you're comfortable selling or confident selling on Fiverr, you need to figure out what skills you wanna focus on, you need to practice and learn those skills, and you need to practice a lot, a lot. There are simply no shortcuts for this step. If you wanna sell something on Fiverr and you wanna make a lot of money on Fiverr and you don't wanna just be a flash in the pan getting one order and that's it, you need to learn a skill and you need to become really proficient in that skill. So depending on what you decide you want to sell on Fiverr, could take you a couple weeks of practice, could take you a couple of years of practice, depending on the complexity and, and skill required to complete the certain skill or task that you want to sell on Fiverr. So figure out how to learn to do what you wanna do and practice. Don't take a shortcut here. The reality is that if you want to sell to people, you need to be offering something that is worth buying. So if what you want to sell is not something you're currently good at, the first step is learning how to get good at it and practice. You know, putting the reps in to practice and get good at something is what's going to help you become proficient. So this is the, the first and most important step every new Fiverr seller needs to take. And uh, before I continue, I just wanted to say that at the time of recording, this channel's at almost eight thousand subscribers honestly when i started out with this youtube channel i had no idea that it would pick up and there'd be so many people interested in selling on fiverr and learning how to sell on fiverr so thank all of you uh, for supporting me on this journey I, I really appreciate it and i'm excited to see where this ends up in another year two years five years so if you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing it'd be really awesome all right so now that you've figured out what skill you wanna sell on Fiverr, you've practiced, you've learned the skill, you've gotten to the point where you're comfortable selling that skill or service on Fiverr, the next thing you need to really spend a lot of time and focus on is making sure that your profile and your gigs look professional. Okay, so I know not all of us have professional cameras, lighting, access to tools like Photoshop to do editing and all this fancy stuff, but you don't need all of that fancy professional gear to look professional. All I'm talking about is spending a little bit of time and effort to make sure your profile looks polished and your gig looks polished and is set up strategically to accomplish the goal you're trying to accomplish as a Fiverr seller, which is to get people to spend money with you. So starting with your profile picture, if you have something like an iPhone or a smartphone, that's enough to get you started. Set up a room where you wanna take your profile picture. Get a friend, or if you have an iPhone tripod, even better, to get ready to take your picture. And just make sure you have some lighting on your face and maybe on your surroundings to make sure that the photo is well composed. If you get the exposure right and it's, it's well lit, it's gonna look like a good picture. And that's all you really need for your Fiverr profile picture. 
You don't need studio lighting, a DSLR camera, or anything fancy. You just need to put some thought into where you're gonna take the picture and how you're gonna take the picture. And that'll make a huge difference for you. Now, when it comes to your actual gig, this is arguably the place that most new fiber sellers miss the mark. You need to spend some time to make your gig work for you. Starting with the gig thumbnail, it needs to accomplish two things. It needs to draw people in by being attractive and it needs to be informative. So if you don't understand what I'm getting at with this, take a couple of minutes to do some research. Look up some profiles of Fiverr sellers in your niche that are doing really well and take a look at their thumbnails. Are they using headshots of themselves? Are they using text? Is it well lit? Is it colorful? Is it black and white? What are they doing in their thumbnails? Take this information and use it to craft your own unique thumbnails so that your gigs stand out too. The next thing that you wanna spend a lot of time on is a portfolio. So a lot of new sellers that I talk to are like, Mike, I don't have a portfolio to show buyers because I haven't had any clients before. Why do you need to have clients to build a portfolio, right? You can build a portfolio without having clients with the intention of using that portfolio to get clients. So let me give you an example. If you're a graphic designer and you've never been hired, being a graphic designer means you're good at graphic design. So create a portfolio to show that, you know? An exercise I tell people to do is think of three fictional companies. They don't have to be real companies hiring you. Just think of three companies that you might want to work for. Pretend they hired you and create a project package as if you had done a project for them. Spend some time doing this. Maybe it takes a weekend. Do these three <laughs> projects, these fake projects for yourself. Uh, do them really well. Spend some time making it your best work. And voila, you now have three pieces for your portfolio that you can share with clients. Um, it's as simple as that. And it's, it applies to any industry. It doesn't matter if you're a graphic designer, or a copywriter, or a website developer, whatever. Spend the time to show people that you know what you're doing. And if you haven't been hired, spend the time to do the work you would have been doing if you were hired. Build this portfolio for yourself. It's gonna be hugely helpful. And the next thing, like really basic thing with uh, you know your gigs that might not be apparent to most people is the subject line. A lot of people think, oh, the, the subject or the title is quick, easy. I just, it's like 10 words, put it in there and I'm good to go. Not really. The title of your gigs is probably one of the most influential pieces of your gig other than the description. And the reason is, is it, it's what Fiverr uses to rank your gig in search. So a big way that a lot of Fiverr sellers get orders is through Fiverr search. When someone types something into the search bar on Fiverr, the gigs that pop up on the first page are likely the gigs that get purchased. So your subject line and the keywords in your subject line help you rank highly in Fiverr search. So when you're creating your gig, spending time researching good keywords and good subject lines is gonna be really helpful for your gig to be discoverable and for people who are looking at your gig to read it and understand the services that you can offer them. Okay, now the granddaddy of the Fiverr gig, the gig description. You know, I talked about how important gig titles are. Gig descriptions are like gig titles on steroids. This is the block of text you're gonna to use to describe your gig, describe the services you can offer, describe how you can help them, why they should want your help, and most importantly, in doing all this, you need to also focus on the SEO that you're using in your gig to help it work for your gig in ranking it higher in Fiverr search. This can be tough, and it's gonna take some time. So if you're at the stage where you're creating your first gig description, don't rush. There is no race to getting your gig posted on Fiverr if you're cutting corners, right? You need to make sure you're doing everything you can to give yourself a fighting chance to win and succeed as a seller on Fiverr. So when it comes to your gig description, really take some time to think about how you can craft it in a way where it makes your services clear, it makes the value you can bring your clients crystal clear, and at the same time, it ranks highly in search by leveraging you know, certain keywords and an SEO strategy without sounding like a robot wrote it. It's as simple as that, but also I say it's as simple as that, it's kind of complicated, right? So take some time to think about it. Make a list of services you offer, write a different couple different blocks of text that you think might sound good for the description, 
play around with it to see what really works. One thing I really like to do is using bulleted lists kind of midway through the gig to just draw the, the buyer's eyes to a portion of the description where I'm gonna list the services and the why me part of my gig description. So that's the other thing. Gig descriptions are super important. Don't rush through them. If you have trouble you know, writing uh, and kind of grammar and things like that, maybe consider hiring a copywriter to do it for you. It's something I do for clients, but uh, it's up to you. You can do it yourself, just take the time to do it yourself in a way that's gonna work for you. So before I continue, I really just wanna kinda highlight what we've talked about so far. So the first thing was to pick a skill and make sure you're practiced and confident enough with that skill before you start selling it on Fiverr. The second thing was to take some time to take a good headshot for Fiverr, and you don't need fancy equipment to do it. I talked about using an iPhone and like a lamp is all you really need. The third thing we covered was to fill out your profile description, or actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I didn't cover it, but on the profile page, make sure you're filling out the description to tell people about yourself, what you do, and how you can help them. The fourth thing is to make a powerful gig thumbnail and portfolio that's gonna work for you to help you sell your gig. The fifth thing was to make an SEO optimized subject line. And the sixth thing we talked about so far was to create a gig description that both explains your services, explains to buyers why they need your services, and is SEO optimized to help your gig rank highly. So that's what we've covered so far, and those things are the fundamentals. Before we go on to the next tip, which is arguably the most important, if you don't already understand those six things we talked about, or if you haven't done those things, or if you're not ready for those things, pause the video here, go back, and take some notes on what you need to do to close that gap. These things are essential and you shouldn't cut corners doing this right is going to make sure you're successful on Fiverr. So if you haven't figured it out, go back, look at the parts of the video where I talk about those six things, look in the description, I'll put a bunch of links to other videos where I go into greater depth for a lot of these topics too. You know, bookmark them, leverage them as guides to walk you through these different steps. You know, I have playlists about this take advantage of that stuff. Now, there's one last thing that is super important to Fiverr sellers, both new Fiverr sellers and experienced Fiverr sellers. Even if you've learned a skill, you've practiced a skill, you've created an awesome profiling gig, that might not be all the pieces to the puzzle to make sure you're selling and growing and being the best you can be on Fiverr. And this thing, is not offering rock bottom prices, it's not offering unlimited revisions, and it's not offering your services on a 24 hour turnaround, right? That's not what I'm getting at here. If you have an idea of what I'm about to tell you, I wanna hear, like I, let's do a little science experiment. Pause the video and comment what you think it is. I'm curious to know how many of you might understand this concept because it's something I mentioned in a video a couple weeks ago, but I don't think a lot of people really let it sink in. So pause the video, comment what you think the ultimate tip is, uh, and in just a second, I'll tell you what it is and you can see if you are on track. And if you weren't, maybe that's an indicator that you know videos like these, you need to take some more time watching them, learning from them, and implementing the, the tips we're giving you uh, so that you're not cutting corners and you're doing everything you can to be the best Fiverr seller you can be. So pause the video real quick, comment what you think it is, and in like two seconds, I'm gonna tell you. All right, so if you're back yet, well, you're obviously back yet because you're watching me talk, but um, the ultimate tip for new Fiverr sellers is to Focus on providing value. If you want to make money on Fiverr, you need to focus on value. Making money, money, money itself is just a tool that people use to exchange for value. So if you want people to give you their money, you need to always be focusing on things you can do to provide value to them. It's a trade, you know, people are trading you money for value, that's what they're doing. So by focusing on value, that's gonna make sure all the other things we talk about on this channel, you're doing them because to provide value, you can't cut corners, right? You gotta do things to provide value. So if you can focus and remember that you want to provide value in every interaction you have with a buyer on the Fiverr platform, it's gonna do a number of things for you. It's gonna help you upsell. It's gonna help you sell more gig extras. It's gonna give you more repeat buyers and it's gonna give you more five-star reviews. The name of the game is value. So go through this video. Those six tips I first talked about, 
those are the basics to creating a Fiverr gig and profile and starting as a seller. Those are like the fundamental blocks, the building blocks of selling on Fiverr. To become successful on Fiverr, the key is value. All the videos I talk about on this channel are focused around helping you get value out of these videos, and that's why you're watching these videos. At least that's why I hope you're watching them. I'm giving you value in exchange, in exchange for your time to watch the videos. On Fiverr, you're giving people your work and your skills for their money. Your work and your skills is the value they're receiving. So remember that. Always focus on value and you you'll probably not go wrong, right? Obviously, there's gonna be unforeseen circumstances in some situations, but if value is the name of the game for you, your clients are gonna be a lot happier. So, are you someone who already offers value to your clients? Is that something that you, you always have top of mind? If so, leave us a comment. I want to hear from you. What is your story for how you ensure that you're always providing value to your clients? And you know, I really love to have a conversation about that. If you haven't already, check out my blog. I just created it. I'm starting a newsletter. The first newsletter is actually going out March 1st, 2021. Uh, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be an extension of some of the helpful tips I put out on this channel, some things I'm working on in my day-to-day -day life, and anything else that uh, I have new and upcoming to help you guys uh, continue to improve as Fiverr sellers, you know, and, and other aspects of life. You know, like I, I hope I can help you make money online regardless of the route uh, you want to take. So thanks again for watching, and until next time, cheers.